Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be here again. My name is Victoria Innocence and if this is your first time of seeing my face, please don't make it your last. All you have to do is to subscribe, be a part of this big, amazing family. I have really interesting things to share with you today. Please let your heart be open and I truly believe you're going to have a wonderful time as you listen. Today, I'll be talking about something really, really interesting. I don't think anybody is ever ready for this stage of motherhood. There is a level of preparedness that can happen. You can be enlightened, can be aware of certain things. Yeah, I'll just be sharing with you how motherhood changed my life completely. Has it been easy? Not at all. Motherhood. <sighs> the Bible says the gift of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow. So I believe that this stage is a gift from the Lord. First of all, I love sleep. I love to sleep a lot. But when my children came, I discovered that this stage of my life, selflessness, upper, it's mind-blowing the level of love a parent can have for a child. It's truly, truly mind-blowing. And I can attest to it that you wouldn't even be thinking about yourself the moment you have that child. You're thinking about his well-being. You congratulate every mother who is about to have a baby and who wants to experience this joy of motherhood that the Lord will grant you that testimony soon in the name of jesus school runs i wasn't informed i think i was but i didn't know it was going to be this way because sometimes i find myself recording and doing other things and i'm sleeping late and i just have to wake up early because i have a son that needs to go to school i have to cook i have to make sure he's dressed well i have to do all these things i prep a night before but i don't think that's always enough is that ever enough? <laughs> Thankful to God for this um, privilege to have experienced this. I always wanted to follow my husband for meetings. And when they say, ah, our dad kiss strings his hair with his beautiful wife. Ah, I'm here, guys. I'm here. It changed. Mm -hmm. It did change. First baby came. Changed it. And I was like, you know what, God, don't worry. I'll find my way around. Second baby came. <laughs> ah, is that a dream? I'm asking all these men of God. How are you people doing this? Women of God, how are you people doing it? I want to learn. I want to know. How did it take no up? I really wanted to be everywhere with my husband. And my husband really wanted it. So I wanted to always be together with me. Whenever I go and minister, I'm not here alone. I'm here with my beautiful wife. And your beautiful wife is at home taking care of kids. <laughs> funny yes it is top those like i'm going for one or two no but one no one prepare me for this stage it's a lot and it's like ah when i went for this meeting i wanted to ask him, where's your wife where's your wife ah your wife is busy she's very busy doing the lord's work you know i know this is just a stage this is just a level because we really want it and sometimes if we submit it within abuja i try i try because i'm my husband's I'm, I'm blessed i'm really blessed by his ministry so any moment i have the opportunity to attend meetings that he's invited i love to be there because i pour out my spirit and worship whenever he leads he carries such an anointed i'm not even joking I'm not, I'm not hyping him i'm not saying it because it's my husband you guys know it and me i know it more because i see it firsthand it's not about what people see out there i've been blessed so i always look forward to attending meetings he is invited to and i really look forward to experiencing god firsthand i look forward to experiencing the dimension of god that he carries he's so anointed my husband is so anointed he's super blessed it counts the privilege to you know experience firsthand what god has deposited in his inside even for him, a lot of times he just um, tell people, no, I can't go to your meeting for these certain days because I have a wife, I have a family, I have to be there for them. Only for some occasions where he has to travel, maybe out of the country and he has to maybe spend two or three days out, except for those occasions he's here with us. In Nigeria, you guys have my husband for one day because my husband always says that family is his first ministry, God, family, the ministry. And I think that's the order that it should be and honestly it's been amazing um that's just it uh, for ministry and how it has really jig jigger our <laughs> i'm speaking out for you guys uh, it has jig jigger that means how it has shake yes how it's shook me a little but <laughs> we're fine my children my children have really peaceful see i'm not even bragging some of these things i say eh, people just look at it i say ah, why is everything why is she always ah, why is she always saying positive things why is she ah? 
I believe in positivity. I believe that everything must not be negative. I believe that my God will make everything right for me. I believe that he can make, if I pray that I need this, he will give it to me. Every good and perfect gift, the Bible says, comes from above. It comes from my God. I ask that he gives me and he gives me. I wanted peaceful children and I prayed to God. Remember those days, um, one of my neighbors, um, her child was quite peaceful and I really, really loved taking care of the baby and I always declared, I say, ah, I'm sowing this, you know, when the mom wants to go out, sometimes they drop the baby with me and I'm like, ah, I want a peaceful child. I really want my baby to be peaceful. So when I see children that exhibit the character or the habits that I really admire, I saw it into their life. Sometimes I just carry a little money. Oh, I really love this baby. I want my baby and I'm outspoken about it. And when my children came, <laughs> trust god now full package honestly honestly go and ask people that have been around people see my children are really peaceful and i'm really grateful to god my prayer is that god keeps helping them to know him to be thought of the lord early let them know jesus early because this peace they carry it will shake their generation because they carry the presence of God. He is in their inside. And I pray that they partnership with the Holy Spirit when they grow older, that they will do wonders for the Lord. Menora is five months now, but she sleeps at night. Sometimes I have to wake her up and breastfeed her. Same thing Naraya did. Ha. Hmm. This God then. See, if you're a woman, you want something, you desire it, keep proclaiming it. If you guys have been following me since when I was dating, you know I decreed some of these things. I, I said it publicly. My marriage will bring Jesus glory. My marriage will not fail. What people are saying are happening to other marriages. I'm praying, I'm praying. I'm not trying to mock anybody. Oh, your marriage is no me i want it and i pray to god to give me i want this children and i pray to god to give me pray build a relationship with the lord where you are able to cry out to him and tell him what you want what you desire see if you know who you are in christ it will give you an edge this is the only way this negative pattern is the only pattern that works for how many years in your generation this is the only way that it always happens this is the only way that we know it to happen no baby that is not the way. If it is not God's way, it is not my way. It is not my way. I don't even live by myself. I live in Christ and Christ in God. Those that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. I am led by His Spirit. I'm His daughter. And I enjoy the benefit that comes with being God's baby. So you have to keep reminding the devil. Keep reminding him that you're a child of God. You are destined for greatness. Positive vibes always. You're not even relenting about God, about his will, about his purpose for your life. If there's an unusual pattern, if there's a negative pattern, cast it out, pray it out of your life. God will make you a sign and a wonder. I have to come to the end of this video and I hope that you're truly blessed. Please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to share. Thank you so much and until I see you next time. Bye. <laughs>